So yeah, it seems that NASA is looking for excuses to postpone the 2024 moon landing date. Something we always knew and doesn't come as a surprise. But what does come as a surprise is the newest reason why they can't make it. Namely, the Artemis spacesuit won't be ready by 2024. Yes, a spacesuit, not ready in three years. But worry not, because someone has offered help to build a spacesuit and how that might look we are going to discuss in this video. So stay tuned. So NASA's Office of Inspector General, also known as OIG, not to be confused with OG, has recently released a highly interesting report on the development of next generation spacesuits and found that of all things that could jeopardize a 2024 moon landing date, the spacesuit seems to be one of the items that won't be ready in time. They found that the suit will only be ready by April 2025. Okay, yeah, sure, we always knew that the 2024 moon landing goal was ambitious to formulate it euphemistically, even when it was announced by Mike Pence back in 2019. We made many videos in which we said that a moon landing a few years later is far more likely. But of all the reasons that would cause such a delay, we were never thinking that the spacesuit needed for extravehicular activities, EVAs in short, might be the reason. We were thinking of a delay of SLS, I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? SLS is basically the manifestation of delay. SLS basically stands for Slow Late System or Super Late System. You can pick one which you like. So that being a source of delays is of course absolutely no surprise, especially considering that SLS should have already flown the Exploration 1 mission, the first unmanned mission back in 2017. And now it will be late this year if everything goes right. Of course, that mission is now called Artemis 1. We were even thinking that the Starship Super Heavy launch system would be more likely to transport astronauts to the moon by 2024 than SLS. But we will see how that is going to develop already in the next one or two years. Of course, we were also thinking the Orion capsule is another big source of delays. I mean, come on, we are talking about a remnant of the old Constellation program here. A capsule which has been under development for 15 years now since 2006 and cost a whopping 21 billion dollars. You would think that this would almost guarantee that it will be ready for the Artemis 1 launch, right? Well, it only received the green light status of being complete by July 2019, so only two years ago. So that was actually a close one. Then we thought, okay, but the Lunar Gateway sure won't be ready by 2024, right? But then it turned out that NASA actually wants to land on the moon with Artemis 3, not necessarily utilizing the Lunar Gateway. Therefore, the Lunar Gateway might only be used in later Artemis missions. And now that the moon lander has been decided to be the SpaceX Lunar Starship for good, we dare say that not the lander will dock to the gateway, but the gateway to the lander, if you know what we mean. So anyways, we have the rocket, we have the capsule, we most likely will have the lander by 2024 if we look at the insane progress of this bad boy here. But the item everybody thought will be the least of our problems, namely the spacesuit, turns out to be a real problem. The spacesuit in question is NASA's XEMU suit or XEMU suit, which is short for Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit, which we can see showcased here on stage. Previous spacesuits that had been under development were the Constellation Program Spacesuit System, which had been in development from 2009 to January 2016 by contractor Oceaneering International, for $135.7 million. The contract ended in 2016 and has been then continued in-house by NASA since then as the XIMU, with an estimated cost of $232.8 million. And there was of course the Advanced Spacesuit Project, which ran from 2007 to 2016 for $51.6 million and was then transferred to the ISS Spacesuit Department. So now the only spacesuit remaining is the XIMU unit, 
which will cost about $1 billion until the fiscal year 2025, as the OIG found in their report. Ah, there, finally the billion. We know that at NASA, it's seldomly possible to develop any piece of hardware where the word billion isn't used in some form. The Xemu suit will be quite capable with 9 hours of maximum EVA time, that will be 1.5 hours more than the longest EVA time to date on the moon with Apollo 17. Also, it will allow for a much greater maneuverability compared to the quite rigid Apollo spacesuits that sometimes led to quite a few problems back in the Apollo days. The Ximu suits will allow for a much higher EVA flexibility. But anyways, due to the pandemic and due to technical challenges with the XPLSS, the Exploration Life Support subsystem, the project completion date has slipped from Q3 2023 all the way to Q1 2025. Therefore, no moon landing until Q1 2025 earliest, according to the NASA OIG. So that's it, right? We can now most certainly forget the 2024 landing date. But wait, wait, someone is coming to the rescue? And who is it again? And so in a tweet by Michael Sheets, where he posted the results of the Inspector General's findings, Elon himself came forth and offered help, in that SpaceX could build the spacesuits if need be. We know that SpaceX already built the spacesuit for missions on Dragon to the ISS, so they aren't completely new to the spacesuit business. However, a real EVA spacesuit will be a lot more complex than the spacesuits on Dragon missions. They will need a complex cooling system and life support system, and they should also offer a high degree of maneuverability. But we dare say if a company will be able to pull this off, then it's the company that was able to pull this off. You know, we're talking about a company that does pull things off. So it would be quite funny if SpaceX again comes to save the day. First, they basically restore the US's ability to fly astronauts to the ISS from US soil again in a US-made rocket. Then they will restore NASA's ability to land astronauts on the moon again for the first time since 1972 with this insane behemoth here. And then they will possibly also build the necessary spacesuits for NASA. That is quite a list. Well, we guess it's only fair because NASA saved SpaceX back in 2008 when they awarded the commercial cargo contract for cargo flights to the ISS worth $1.6 billion to SpaceX, thus saving them shortly before they would have gone bankrupt. And now SpaceX basically saves NASA and restores them to the old glory of the Apollo days. Nay, we say that thanks to SpaceX, NASA will now even greatly surpass the old glory of the Apollo days. SpaceX will allow NASA to land insanely large payloads and many astronauts on the moon and build large moon bases thanks to the lunar starship and apparently now also thanks to a possible SpaceX spacesuit. Talking of Starship, if you want your own Starship model, look no further than Bohimso's awesome 3D printed models. You can order them directly from Bohimso's Etsy store site, and they don't have only Starship or SpaceX models, but also many others such as Apollo models or even models from sci-fi franchises. The Starship model we have here is really excellent, has some cool details, and we proudly keep it on display at home at all times. So, back to the moon landings, even should the landings occur by 2025 and the Ximu spacesuit be utilized instead of a SpaceX spacesuit, we won't be too sad. 2025 is still a thousand times better than anything we would have gotten by the likes of Boeing, Lockheed or Northrop, or yes, even Blue Origin. And it is nice to see how far the cooperation between NASA and SpaceX has evolved, to the point where most of NASA's systems will be built by SpaceX. It wouldn't surprise us the least if we'd see other systems that we currently don't associate with SpaceX yet be built by SpaceX, like for example the Lunar Rover, maybe with a Cybertruck inspired design, or the solar panels for the moon base, or the buffer batteries for the moon base. Well, they will actually probably more likely be built by Tesla, but anyways, 
So this is a really good development and we are curious to see how the spacesuit story will continue. So thanks for watching today's video, we wish you all the best, have a nice day and on to the future.